What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing and reviewing the Dior Dior Skin Forever Foundation. This is one of the items that I picked up during the VIB Sephora sale and I feel like I've had this forever and I'm really excited to finally get it open and try it on my skin. Does it make me look like Jaclyn Hill? Hopefully, but anyway, let's, uh, let's get this open. So I'm just going to read what it says off the Sephora website on this uh, foundation because I want to see if it does fulfill what it's supposed to do. A non-oily textured ultra fusional medium to full coverage fluid foundation that delivers perfectly even color correction. This foundation leaves a luminous matte finish. A luminous matte. Okay, well those are kind of contradicting, but I'm still excited because I do want my face to look luminous and yet I want it to stay matte, so hopefully that's what it does. On one half of my face, I'm going to use my beauty blender, and on the other half of my face, I'm going to use a brush. I'm actually going to use the brush that I received in the May BoxyCharm box because I haven't tried it for foundation yet, and I mentioned in that video that I wanted to try that. So just to um, kind of prime my face, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer. Just in my kind of T-zone T area, not really going on the nose too much. I'm going to put two pumps of the foundation. This definitely has like a perfumey scent. It smells nice. I actually don't mind the scent of it too much, but my big thing would be, will it make me break out? Okay, so I'm going to apply this. I'm going to use my beauty blender on this side. Actually, I might zoom you guys in a little bit closer. That might be better. There, now we're talking. Okay, so now you can really see what this is going to look like. So I have just finished applying two coats of the foundation to this side of my face using my beauty blender. And guys, I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed. You can see, like this was the two full pumps and you can still see um, some of the spots on my face, my acne, um, and really, like I can see a difference between this side of my face and this side of my face, but really I was hoping for more. It did say medium to full coverage. This is kind of like sheer to medium almost. It could be the beauty blender. It might be better with the brush. I can also see that it's clinging a little bit to my dry patch that I typically get right here. Not as much as some other foundations I have tried. I will give it that. So I'm gonna apply, apply a couple more pumps for this side of my face. All right guys, so the trick of this foundation, apply it with a brush. This went on so much better and really full coverage as opposed to this side. Look, you can tell this side's just a lot more smooth and this was only one coat and this was two coats. So don't use a beauty blender. It's gonna soak up too much product. Definitely go for a brush. So I'm gonna apply a second coat. Look how flawless this side looks. And it didn't even, because I, I have um, dry patches in kind of the same area on both sides of my face, and it didn't cling to the dry patch as much on this side. Which is weird because you would think it wouldn't with the beauty blender, seeing as there's that moisture there, but I guess not. Um, it doesn't feel very tacky. I'm still gonna set it with a powder, but it's pretty much dried down already. Um, I don't feel like I'm wearing a lot of foundation. It actually feels pretty light on the skin. So guys, I am just gonna go finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be back. Hey guys, so the rest of my makeup is now on. The current time is 3.12, so I am going to be checking back in throughout the day um, just to see how this makeup wears. Does it break down at all? Does it sink into any of the lines on my face? Um, do I feel like I need to blot? We shall see and I will be back to check in a little bit later. So see you guys soon. 
Hey guys, how's it going? It has now been about three hours. It is 6.28 and uh, overall I'm really really liking this foundation so far. I know it's only been three hours but for me, typically around like the two hour mark I start to get really shiny in places. I can see that I'm beginning to become like a little bit shiny in sort of the T-zone area, but not the nose surprisingly. Usually the nose is the first thing to go like, woo, I'm shiny. I'm really liking this foundation so far. It's looking great, especially on the brush side, just flawless. Um, and so I will check back a little bit later. Hey guys, so it is 10, 11 right now. So it has been about seven hours. And I just wanna say how beautiful my foundation still looks. I am amazed. Like, can you see my nose right now? Like I am not oily at all. And that is a first, that has gotta be a first. And guys, I didn't even use a setting spray. So I am floored by this foundation. Like, wait, let me get a better light. You can really see my highlight here, but really like very minimal shine. I have not blotted once today. It's, I'm like, my mind is blown. And even like, you can you can see it's barely, there's maybe a bit of uh, a creasing right here and a little bit around the nose, but overall, overall it kind of looks like I just applied my foundation. Like that's insane. Also, shout out to my sister for this like super, super cute shirt. It says, I came, I saw, I contoured. It was a birthday present. So thank you, Kate, I love it. Um, I might do one more check-in around midnight-ish, but yeah, I am just, I'm really happy right now. Hey guys, so it is 12.06, it's really late. I really wanna go to bed and take my makeup off. It's starting to hurt, it's starting to get really heavy, but I just wanted to do this final check-in. Again, I haven't blotted since the last time I checked in, and my, uh, my dad was telling me that I was looking a little shiny, but I don't know if he was seeing the highlight, but I am, I think, in my nose area. Yeah, you can kinda see a bit of shine, but I think, you know, with a blotting, that would go away in a second. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm really, really impressed by this foundation. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Half heart this time, I love you.